What it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. Today I got a special one. I got the Trash Panda Inner Core, and I'm about to test it out the good old fashioned way by doing an Inner Core only round. <laughs> I may not be the best person to test it out, but I'm gonna show you how it flies for me. I'm gonna play nine holes here on the course in Sydney Olympic Park. We're starting out on hole one, is a 300, I believe, 65 footer uphill. Basket's tucked behind these trees. It's gonna be a long one for the putter, but. So it flew pretty straight for me. That's not too bad. I thought it'd be a little bit more flippy than that, but also it's the first throw of the day, so we'll see how we go. I didn't really leave myself with much of a look, but I reckon I'm gonna just have to spray and pray this one. We'll see how she goes as an upshot. So it's gonna go. Well, that was pretty bad, but we're up there. Completely missed my line. That's on me. So don't take my putting out on the Trash Panda inner core. I've recently just switched to left-handed. I got a bit of a shoulder, or an old shoulder injury that's been flaring up when I put, so I had to make the switch to lefty. And yeah, I haven't really got it ironed out, so we're gonna walk away with a bogey on hole one. Honestly, I'm just trying to walk away even today, if possible, and that'll be a win for the inner core. Pull one, we took a bogey on to hole two. This is a 489 foot par four of the baskets. Way down there and it's downhill. In that big tree there's a man to left. So you would think surely it's gonna turn here. Oh yeah, that'll be all right. Come out of it or go under it, oh yeah. That was a pretty good shot, so it does turn. I'm actually really happy with this drive, but what I struggle at the most is powering down on a backhand, so <laughs> we'll see if I can keep the birdie opportunity alive. Just nice and easy. Oh yeah? Sit. Okay, that wasn't horrible. A little long and a little to the left, but I'll take it. This is the distance that scares me, man, I'm telling you. And it should be an easy birdie, but it's not for me. And we got, what, a tailwind? We're just gonna... Oh, there we go, that's a bird. Back to even. I'm actually way more excited and happy about that than I should be, because that's an easy putt, but it's not for me, trust me. Hole three, 315 foot par three, it's uphill. And this big tree here is a mandel left. I can't remember the exact numbers to the inner core, but what I'm finding it is straight to slightly flippy. Like, I feel like you can hyzer flip it, but it also like, yeah, it's, pretty, it's a pretty straight shooter. Slightly flippy straight shooter. So that went pretty dead straight there. Seems like a slightly flippy straight point and shoot. The shot I would normally probably just flick a zone up there, but I'm not really sure how this thing would handle the four. I guess there's no better way to find out, you know, what type of review would this be if I didn't try it? So we're just gonna try to flick this up there. Little wobble, that was a bad release, but we're right under the basket, that should be par. Par. It shall be. Uh, make sure I don't stuff it up with my left hand from that range. Dunk it on them. I had to compare the inner core to anything. It'd be like my beat up Electron Firm Envy that I actually just lost on hold 18 on this course yesterday. But yeah, how it's just like slightly flip, flippy, but still a point and shoot. It will turn on you, it will turn over. But yes, if that's what I had to compare it to so far, that's what I got. But we're on whole, what are we on, four? 272 foot par three. Just gonna shoot this one straight at it. Go, go, come back, come out of it. Ah, oh, that's a good, that's all right. That's all right, missed my line slightly, but it's all right. Looks like I'm either just outside the circle or on the circle's edge in a really spot under this tree. So now I got a not only left-handed putt, but straddle putt. Let's see if I can't get this there. I know I can't. And we got left to right wind. Uh, oh, justice. Oh, come back. 
Yes. <laughs> what a roll. Oh, man. Come on, put this in for par. Don't mess this up. Okay, left hand. There we go. Still got par. We're safe. That's the, that's the name of the game is par today. I'm finding about doing with this intercore only round, since it's a putter, is when I do miss my line a little bit, it's not such a big consequence, you know what I mean? Like, because it's a putter, that's why you should do putter only rounds. Everyone should do putter only rounds from time to time. Hole f five, right? One, two, three, four. Hole five, I believe it's a 365 foot par three. This is a tough par three. There's no mandos here, but this tree makes it really hard to get there with the backhand hyzer. I usually do the backhand turnover, but I think I'm just gonna play it safe, play it up there, stay away from OB. That'll work. Threw that a bit nose up, but I mean, it is an uphill shot, so that's all right. I made the mistake of signing up for my first MA1 tournament this weekend. It's my third tournament ever, and I'm going MA1. And then, yeah, my shoulder injury picked up. <laughs> so, but yeah, if I want to play MA1, I'm like 150 feet out. I should be able to get up and down from here. Let's see. Threw that way off to the right. That was pretty horrible. This is exactly where I feel like I shouldn't have gone MA1 so quickly. If you can't get up and down from 150 feet out, I don't know. And like this should be a makeable putt, but yeah, doing the left-handed thing into a headwind downhill. Oh, just barely. That's gonna be a bogue, hopefully. <laughs> I'm be back to plus one, but that's 100% not on the disc. That's on me. That was a horrible upshot, a horrible left-handed putt. And we're back to plus one. And we got three holes to get it back. Hole six, 272 feet downhill. Honestly, I feel like this should be a pretty good hole for the inner core. We'll see. Headwind though, remember that. Turn, turn, sit down. Oh. Left. Didn't throw it down the hill, I threw it out. Definitely out of my range, so let's just make sure we don't turn an easy par into a bogey and lay this up. Sit down. That's the thing I gotta remember because I'm putting left handed now, a left to right wind. Yikes. Okay. We can still make this justice. You can put this in. This was just supposed to be an easy tap and you're supposed to lay this up. What happened? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, save par, fuck. So plus one, we're on hole seven. It's the long gun, 528 feet up the hill. There's a mando behind the tree that you gotta get in the basket is way down there. So you got it up, dog leg left. Not the best hole for a putter, but it's all right. We're just going for par, baby. We just want par. Yep. I mean, nailed my line. Basket's down there. Should be like another full power shot with this. Well, not full power, but normal swing. Not mistaken, the inner core has a zero for the fade on the numbers. I feel like those are very accurate because when you do get it to turn, it doesn't seem to come out of it. And if it doesn't turn, it just finishes straight. Like it doesn't finish by dumping and fading. Let's we'll see if we can punch this down there. Oh, turn please. Ah, oh, through that bit nose up. Didn't really match the gradient of the slope downhill, more threw it out. I have a bad habit of that. But hey, I've only been playing five months. I've put myself in a similar predicament as the last hole where I don't really have a shot at making this birdie, but I don't want to mess up an easy par. So for real, Justice, let's just lay this up. It was a pretty Bad layup again. <laughs> I gotta work on that. I gotta work on my layups. Come on, baby, let's drop in this quote unquote easy par. 
why am I squatting like this and doing it? All right, come on, come on. Put it in there for real. Just, yup. Hit them with the left hand. They don't know what to do. Full eight, we are still plus one. It's 262 foot, but uphill. There's no mandos here with these trees, but yeah, they're just in the way. And uh, come on, I gotta get back to even. <laughs> I only got two holes to do it, and the hole nine gets me every time. So we really gotta get this in there. Do that again, nose up, drop. Yeah, we don't want to get into the tree. That's not bad. We'll see if I have a look. Those trees get a little tricky. Wow. Wow. People are going to say I staged this, but literally the only spot where there's a gap to see the basket and have a direct line to it. So that's pretty lucky. Getting out of my putting range. Just going to have to lay this up for real. Come on. And just get it up there, through there. Yep, that's parked. Easy par. That's what we're after, right? Gotta love Australia, am I right? Watch out for snakes. Okay. All right, this is an easy par. That means I got one hole left to get the birdie. Hole nine is definitely birdieable, but for me, it's particularly hard because you have to hit a line, and that's my biggest weakness. Hole nine's like all of my nightmares about disc golf combined into one. You have to hit a line. There's heaps of trees. Oh, here we go, 190 feet is all it is, but it's all it takes. Oh, come out of it. Oh, if that wouldn't hit that tree, that actually would have been all right. My approach game is pretty atrocious. <laughs> oh man, if that last tree doesn't kick this out, this actually gets up pretty close to the basket. Now this is just out of my range again, left-handed. This is, should definitely be out of the circle though, so I should be able to step put. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to walk away from this one, plus one. But hey, I do not blame that on the inner core at all. I blame that on my poor putting abilities, especially with the left hand. I have no range. I finally had learned how to get range with my right hand, was getting pretty good at it, and then yeah shoulder injury flares back up. So we're working on it. The left hand, we're working on it. But that is gonna wrap up my nine holes with the inner core only. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with plus one. Like, I've only been playing for five months, so I put a lot of pressure on myself to play well because I'm competitive, but man, this stuff takes time. This game is not easy. And uh, I'll be honest, I think this is gonna replace my Electron Firm Envy as my like slightly flippy but pretty straight putter and then I also have the Eclipse and Envy that's like my stable throwing putter. This one in particular is 169 grams but there's just something about the inner core where it feels heavy like it feels like a heavy disc. Um, the plastic's pretty gummy I would say very flexible but it has a pretty decent hand feel kind of feels like my uh, deputy my dynamic disc deputy has for a hand feel but overall I'm pretty happy with this disc. I think Jesse over at Trash Panda has done an excellent job. I put the justice stamp of approval on this bat girl and uh, she's staying in the back. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe so you can see all my upcoming content. I'm gonna be hosting a skins match next weekend. And then, yeah, like I said, I got my first MA1 tournament tomorrow, which I'm very nervous about since I have to putt left-handed, first time putting left-handed in a tournament. We'll see how I go. Wish me luck, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.